Hey Aries, welcome to Tarot and Heal. Welcome to the place where we Tarot and Heal our way to self-love and unity consciousness. Happy New Year. I hope all is well. All right. Um, welcome to your mid-month reading for January. Let's get started. I come to you humbly, God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Aries collective need to know? For the second half of January, thank you. All right, now we have lived life to the fullest and reach for the stars. That's self explanatory, right there. I don't know why that came with like a heart drop energy. Yeah, I'm feeling it in my throat now. It's something like going for a grand plan. It's something that's like bittersweet about it, okay? It has a little bit of sadness that comes with it. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, so we have the Five of Swords coming out with the Three of Pentacles, okay. And the Eight of Cups, yeah. That's what I felt. It feels like in this pursuit of bigger and better, you know, I mean, anytime you go through a death and rebirth, right, you have to, you're going to walk away from certain people, certain things. So I feel like that's what's happening here. It's a bittersweet energy of moving away from the old. You know, so it's that kind of feeling of nostalgia, like things will never be the same, you know. Um, Gemini had this energy in um, the previous batch of readings, okay. Um, it's going for a good thing, but it does come with like, oh man, but I gotta let this go, you know. Anyway, so we have the Five of Swords coming out. <clears throat> We have that five of swords coming out along with the three of pentacles in a verse. Let's look at that five of swords real quick before I say anything. Why is that five of swords there? For some of you guys, I feel like it's breaking of a, um, a soul tie or soul mate. All right, or it could be things, it could be family, friends, whatever. It's things or people who felt aligned at one point. Um, I feel like it's coming to the forefront that it's it's over or it's or it's broken or you know something like that is happening. It's a lot of intuition coming through. Wow, two twelves coming out. Okay, you have two cards of the birds. The intuitive guidance, clarifying the five of swords. Someone's being, I don't want to, well, I don't want to say uniquely guided. I feel like, <laughs> all right. Um, when I was meditating on energy, I definitely felt like you guys have guides and ancestors who are on that ass. Okay, um, that's what I'm feeling here. It feels like. Um, you're receiving like special attention. <laughs> That's, I don't know why I'm, I'm getting special attention to help you out of a certain situation. Help you see your value. It's something that's happening here. Hold, yeah, I mean, you're getting special attention to help you to the other side um, to transition to this energy okay you are receiving divine guidance about that so it might be a whole lot of divine intervention happening like some weird things it's like oh I didn't think I was gonna get that or whatever the case is it's just unusual circumstances or unusual help all right cool. I right, just three pentacles We 
You also have the Eight of Cups coming out in reverse. This is very, okay, this is a very torn energy, it seems. Like, I feel like some of you guys, you're getting this help, this divine intervention. I don't feel like you guys are, um, this could be you or someone else. I don't know if you guys are completely cooperating with it, to be honest. We have two characters coming out. So we have the feminine energy coming out with the star. And then we have the masculine energy coming out with the sun. It's definitely a mirroring energy happening here. All right. This could be similar to the sun card too. So it's just, you know, there's definitely a match on the board here. But it's something about it where it's not linking, it's not syncing up. One of the two is not cooperating. Okay. Okay. With the Eight of Cups here, it's like so, the masculine energy has something that they need to walk away from, all right? But it's, it's not happening. Um, so the special attention, I feel like this connection is getting special attention. Like there are, so I maybe both of you guys have ancestors who are trying to help the the merge happen the linking up happen because the two humans aren't doing it <laughs> the two humans are fucking up but not doing the best job so they're getting special attention and divine intervention and make try to make the link happen all right So this definitely seems like a divine union energy, some type of divine connection that needs to happen for a bigger purpose outside of these two. But these two are being knuckleheads and they don't get it. <laughs> or maybe it's just one who's not cooperating. But it feels like both, both are, I feel like they're both mirroring each other. Oof, okay. All right, so you have the Nine of Pentacles coming out. <clears throat> Knight of Cups. However someone's handling these two people, however they're handling the connection, either both or one person, somebody's not handling this appropriately. And that's why the angels are swooping in. The romance angels. <laughs> wow. Alright. Let me show you the cards. Give me a second. Let me finish out this, this spread. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles coming out with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Cups is in reverse, okay? And that is like in the center of this whole reading. That's just showing like the, how inappropriately this connection is being handled. Wow, with the Emperor in reverse. Oh my gosh, all right, let's see what's going on. What's the emperor doing? See, it is, okay, it is the masculine. I feel like the masculine, if this is a third party situation, like they're, yeah. Because they have to walk away from something. Because they're not walking away from something, the feminine energy is just not cooperating with the connection. They're like, look, do that before you come to me, you know? So that's what's making this inappropriate. Because maybe the masculine is trying to play the field. Playing games, uh, creating illusions here. Oh, God. Yeah, all right. Um, all right. The thing with these connections, divine or not, there's an opportunity. There's a window. Okay, that doesn't stay open forever. It closes at some point, all right? So someone might be looking at it like, oh, let me try to have my cake and eat it too. Or um, or maybe just hold tight and I'll be there soon. You know, and it, it opportunities don't stay open forever, okay? Um, 
it is something that's unjust about the situation. We do have the double card coming out with the six of pentacles. All right, someone is moving in a, they're creating, they're putting toxicity into this connection. All right. This connection doesn't have to be toxic, but because of some how someone is handling it, they're making it toxic now. It, it was probably in the beginning very pure. And then, you know, human, the human mind got in the way, the ego got in the way, and it kind of messed up the pure the, the purity of the connection. So now it's something that's that became imbalanced because of it and toxic. All right, making this connection now inappropriate. Um, we do have the Emperor card coming up, the Seven of Cups and the Hermit. They need to find that clarity because they're creating this illusion. They might be creating an illusion with this person, with this feminine energy. All right. But it seems as if. They're playing with a divine connection. That's what it seems like. They're treating div a divine. Uh, um, they're treating a divine connection very casually, and that's where they're about to mess up. Okay. They need to go within with the hermit card. All right. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? What is that? Ten of Cups. Whoa. Whoa. See? Okay. Look at this ish right here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles coming out with the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Cups. What? Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is everything. This is having the whole package here. And someone's playing with this very casually. This is a window of opportunity that's opened up for something very tangible with a lot of love and a lot of security. And someone's toying with it. This is a oh, special attention. Someone received, okay. This connection is a gift. I don't know who's being gifted or it's, it's a gift for both of them. And a masculine energy is playing with it. Um, it doesn't mean that it could be the man or the woman or, you know, um, but they're coming off as a masculine, okay? The masculine energy is a person who has something that they need to walk away from, all right? They're the ones that's creating an illusion. They're coming out as an emperor in reverse. Uh, they might want to control the situation, and that's why they're creating this illusion here. But they're playing with a connection that does not have room for mind games or emotional games or control issues. It doesn't have room for that, okay? This isn't a connection that's like a lesson, you know, where it's just like, oh man, this is a karmic lesson. This is like a real deal situation. Yeah, and someone's like playing with that. So this is why the emperor needs to go in. With the, the hangman in reverse, they need to go within and change your perspective on things, all right? And that leads to the world card. It leads to the major upgrade within this person and drop in this struggle mode that they were in with the nine of wands. I feel like it's something about the struggle energy that's making this person try to control it. Now, if this connection is that strong, then both people feel what's happening. Right? It's not like a one-sided thing where um, nobody knows what's going on or just one person is like, why don't you love me? They both feel this, right? The masculine who, the masculine who probably needs to walk away from something, they, they might have someone and that's why they're not trying to um, address this situation address how they feel in this situation and that's why they're making it inappropriate but it's like they're they can't leave they can't they feel it but they also have something right 
but they know like, oh my gosh, but I can't let this go. So now they're like in between and they're creating an illusion. Okay, maybe they're they're still feeding this energy and feeding that energy at the same time, feeding both parties at the same time. Mm. And it's and it's not an easy thing to balance out. They're struggling with it. In order for them to experience love to the fullest, which is being offered to them, it's certain things that they have to let go, and that comes with the sadness. Whatever it is that they have to kind of sacrifice to experience this, this Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, that it's a bit of a sacrifice. It's, it's causing a struggle. It's causing sadness, all right? So it's like they're struggling. They are creating a toxic environment for the connection. I don't think it's purposefully done, but I feel like, yeah, they're just struggling, you know. Um, you know, the thing with like having a third party, that's not the easiest thing to balance out, you know. Like, Like yeah, on like on paper it's like yeah, I got two I got two people, you know. But having two people, two people who have your heart, that is not if if considering, I mean, assuming that you're not like a psychopath and you care about these two people, that is not the easiest thing to balance out. Now, I'm not sympathizing for the person who's out here bouncing back and forth, but I'm just trying to show like the other angle, like they're not, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're being a piece of crap. They, it, it does feel like they're, they are juggling, but it hurts for them to do it. That's what I'm saying. That's how it feels. Like they rather, they rather not have to juggle. All right. But for some reason, they feel obligated to do so. All right. Let's look into the blockage. What's a blockage for Aries? Once again, you figure out where you are in the storyline. Obviously, there's a masculine and a feminine here. All right. There's one that's... The, the masculine is the one that's causing a rift in the connection. What's the blockage? Six of arrows, yeah. They just can't... They, they're having a hard time walking away from whatever it is that they need to walk away from or that they're being led to do, led to walk away from. So we have the Six of Arrows. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Arrows. Wow, with the King of Arrows at the bottom of the deck. This is a match for sure. Okay, it's like when the feminine comes out, the masculine comes out. Once again, the feminine came out, the masculine came out. Like... This, this masculine energy, even though they can't let go of something, they are on this person's ass. <laughs> That's what's happening there. Like they're keeping a very close watch. Even though like, so for example, if someone is, if a masculine is in a relationship with someone, right? I have to start focusing on the camera so I'm looking at this. Um, if they're um, in a relationship with someone, right? They're like they're not making any moves for the let's say, let's call it the divine connection. They're not making any moves towards the divine connection, right? But they are watching them um, very closely. Okay, lingering around maybe energetically. Okay, this could be watching tarot readings and, you know, cross-watching, all right? Um, this could be watching the social media, things like that. Just really paying attention to what this person is doing because they can't make a move yet. 
but they can they can make a move they're just not with the six of swords that's how walking away from whatever situation they're in and whatever the struggle is into calmer waters all right they can do it the option is there but they're having a hard time doing it the reason is going to be different for everyone why is the Six of Swords here? <sighs> History. Okay. It's the ending of an era. Whatever it is that this person has to walk away from, it's been in their life for a really long time. Okay. History. The history of it like I said like when they're moving on to this bright new shiny day that's what it's feeling like live life to the fullest reach for the stars that type of energy moving on to that requires letting go of the old and it does come with this sense of nostalgia of like look at all the memories we created look at what all I've been through with this person look at all the history we have that is serving as a blockage and stopping someone from moving on the six of swords it is time to move on but they they can't do it all right the nostalgia the history is playing a role here all right um what are they failing to see what are they failing to see wow ten of cups how happy Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cups is the ideal, okay? It's the ideal love situation, whatever. And that's going to be different for everyone. Whatever your ideal love is, you know, that's what someone has found. They're feel, I feel like this person feels that. They might have some doubts, and that's why they're still, like, holding on to the past, but I don't think they have the full clarity. I, I don't think they have the full clarity of, like, how much this will, how much potential is here for a Ten of Cups. It's like hitting a jackpot in love. Mm -hmm. that's what it feels like it feels like when it feel like the special I keep feeling special attention like a special circumstance like winning the lottery hitting the jackpot that's what someone that's what it feels like here or maybe this is how they feel whatever it, it just feels like this is a divine it's a special it's a special connection okay um, not saying you know whatever all connections aren't created equal <laughs> all right so this is a special connection that need that kind of needs to happen all right um yeah wow and someone's like kind of sleeping on it or whatever they're just blocked they, they don't know how to go go towards it Oh my God, with the Ace of Cups. What the, what is this? Whose love is this? And the Ace of Pentacles. See, the love isn't there, but it's not being shown in a real life sense, in an earthly sense, okay? The, the physical union isn't happening. That's why this Ace of Pentacles is coming out in reverse. But the Ace of Cups is here. The love is there. It's felt, but it's not being expressed. In a physical manner. Wow. So this person doesn't see how happy they can be here. Um, and that's why they're treating this connection with the Knight of Pentacles coming out in reverse again. That's why they're treating this connection in a very um, inappropriate way. With the Eight of Cups here, they can't walk away. It's all these cards of, I should leave, but I can't. You know, that type of energy. Hmm. All right. I mean, I 
mean, look, opportunities come, opportunities go. You don't have to take the opportunity, um, but it is suggested. Because it seems as if somebody is walking into a Ten of Cups. They met someone who is their match, who can bring happiness and stability. Like, um, like just, it'll be solid, you know. But they're, they're, they're about to sacrifice that for a connection that they're already in that is broken. You have the lover's card in reverse along with the sun card. It's broken and it's not making them happy. But the high priestess, they know this, okay? Um, there's a hot, there's, like I said, the ancestors, the guides are like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> I feel like the, the, the ancestors are moving. Oh, take that horn as confirmation. The ancestors are on the masculine's ass. So if you're the feminine and you're dealing with the situation, they have guides who are trying to push them. Like, what are you doing? You about to pass out up? What, what the fuck? That's a high priestess here. So they're getting a lot of intuitive nudges into the feminine's direction. But they just, they're not cooperating with spirit here. Um... All right, I just heard guilt. All right. I'm going to just say this one thing. If this is you, if you're the masculine, because I just heard guilt. Um, what is that term? Uh, survivor's guilt or whatever. Survivor's remorse. I don't know. But that guilt of having better and getting better while you're leaving other people behind. That's what someone is feeling. They have an opportunity to upgrade. They have an opportunity to live brighter, okay, in a higher vibration with reach for the stars and live life to the fullest. This is very bright energy. I don't know why I keep feeling. It just feels so shiny and bright. Like <laughs> someone has an opportunity to live this new bright life. And they feel like they'll be leaving people behind who's in the dark. And that's creating like a survivor's remorse. Like, how do I get the special treatment? Okay, coming around full circle. How do I get the special treatment? How did I get to do to live this life? And they can't, you know. Um, how do I get to experience this type of love? You know, they can't. Or if they're in a relationship, it's like, damn, I'm about to leave this person in the dust and have this, like, amazing love life. That's causing survivor's remorse. So this person, even though they're creating, like, a toxic situation with the, with the, with the divine connection, whoever that is, they, it, it is... Is sadness behind it is guilt behind it it's not them being an a-hole it's them like looking out and looking back at the people that they're around like I'm gonna have to leave them behind and I think we can all as humans understand that all right but if you're the masculine yes that is what's happening and you're still being led to do it your angels are behind your ancestors are behind you in this movement all right in this connection so um if you're the divine feminine and this masculine has a choice okay free will plays a role they don't have to go for this connection um and there are multiple divine masculines out there they're all waking up so don't get caught up in this one person all right there will be more um, let's go, I'm going to choose from the Hidden Oracle deck. <clears throat> I usually use this in the, um, the personal relationship readings to see what the, the spouse's higher self wants to say. So I'm going to do that now. So we'll go into the masculine energy. What does a masculine want to tell the feminine? Because the love is there, but 
they're not acting on it. So what does a masculine want to tell the feminine? I look for you everywhere. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. See, like I said, they're keeping a close watch on that ass. So even if they're not showing the love, they are stalking your social media. <laughs> they know your every move. Um, I'm starting to understand the connection. All right. This is definitely a divine spiritual connection that's here. All right. They're still working out the kinks. Like I said, they, they're failing to see how much of a match it is. And that's why, that's another reason why they're still like going back and forth and they're in, um, you know, a little confused. But they can't, like, even though they're trying to go back, they cannot let the divine feminine go. I can't stop thinking about you. Um, this is a spiritual connection. There might be some type of telepathy or something going on here. All right. Um, what do the romance angels have to say? What do the romance angels have to say to the feminine? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. What does the feminine want to say to the masculine? Let's see. Um, for the masculines who are watching, what does the feminine's higher self want to tell the masculines? We're going to look out for the masculines one time. See what's up. What does the feminine energy want to tell a masculine? Because it does seem like the feminine energy is no longer cooperating with the situation either. The feminine wants to tell you masculine. The timing wasn't right for us. <laughs> I wish I could take back my words. See, I feel like the feminine just kind of got annoyed. Now, I don't know if there was an argument. I mean, whatever. The feminine is feeling a little bit of regret. If you guys aren't talking or if you guys aren't. See, it's something, there was a break in the connection. It was pure. It was like a pure connection with no ego for a quick second. And then it broke. Now, the feminine might be blaming herself. She might have said something and think like, okay, maybe I pushed too hard or something like that, all right? I wish I was just a bit more chill about it, you know, whatever the case is. But this is how they're feeling. Um, they're, they're at peace with the situation, like, okay, this is just, this is what it is. The connection is what it is. Um, the timing just isn't right, and... They're, you know, move on. <laughs> All right, what is the power animal here? This is like the right connection and it feels like the wrong time, but um, the masculine does have a choice, but so it's not that simple, right, ever. Look at that, eagle spirit. Spirit has your back, okay? This is for both of you guys. Like I said, you guys are getting, the connection is getting special treatment. You have romance angels in the background like, yo, uh, we're going to pull some strings here. Cupid is in the background trying to make this thing happen. All right. Um, you guys, uh, I don't know why I want to say that. That you guys probably, hmm, okay. I want to say that you two might have some, uh, have some communal guides of uh, like the same guides like you guys have different guides from your bloodline whatever but i feel like you guys i don't know if they're joining together to help this happen or if you two have like one have a guide in common that's what it's feeling like wow <laughs> all right all right, what's advice for the masculine in this situation? Okay. Be here now. This is a very playful energy, hummingbird spirit. There's a need to be a bit more playful. Don't take, um, I can't say don't take it too seriously. Take it seriously, right? But it seems like there's a lot of guilt and worry. You have to be a little bit lighter. Um, and look at it from a broader standpoint here, all right? There's always enough. There might be a concern about lack or loss, 
okay? Um, whether it's financial or whether it's like, one, um, I don't know, something about missing out. There's always enough. There's a lot of worry. See, it, it, there's a lot of worry with this energy. I'm, it might be financial. Mm. Okay. A dear spirit, bring a, a gentle, gentle touch. This is very playful, light energy. Just enjoy the connection for what it is. All right. Someone's trying to control the connection. Okay. Someone's trying to control it. Okay. And then they're making it toxic by trying to, um, make sure that they have the upper hand in it or they're handling things in a way that they think is correct, you know, rather than just keeping it light, keeping it pure and just embracing the nature of the connection. Okay. Um, in an inappropriate, in an appropriate way. All right. And what's the energy? What's the advice for the uh, feminine? Hey. <laughs> All right, feminines. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. You have grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Both of you guys are scared of missing out on this connection. Both of you guys have played a role in doing some weird shit to try and control the connection, okay? Um like where your control issues kind of came out. So, you know, maybe, you know, the feminine probably could have pushed like, hey, what are we doing? What are you, are you gonna leave? Are you gonna leave this person so you can be with me? You know, whatever the case is. Um, both parties did some, oh um, yeah, so it is. So even though, yeah, okay. Both parties are just messing up this connection. <laughs> Um, but I do feel like the, the masculine does have something that they have to leave so that the connection can happen. But because they didn't, it triggered the feminine and now the feminine's acting out. Okay. Um, and that, that just brought it down from this like super high vibe, pure connection to this weird muddy waters. Okay. Um, both of you guys are in this energy of like losing and missing out, scared of missing out and both freaking out because of it. The abundant universe will provide, as I mentioned, as I mentioned to the feminines, there will be other divine masculines out there and divine masculines, there will be other divine feminines out there. Okay. Both of you guys need to realize that. This is a beautiful opportunity. Um, your guides are definitely behind this connection. Um, if it's supposed to happen, it will, especially if you guys have are sharing guides. I've never heard that concept or, or said that before, but that's what it feels like. All right. Um, you got this connection is getting special attention, but it seems as if this might be the beginning of the story. Um, and later on down the line, it, something else might happen. Um, so it's just like a, it's the beginning of this runner and chaser, whatever the situation is, all right? The feminine needs to take a leap of faith in, a leap of faith away from the connection if it's no longer working. Um, and don't be scared of missing out on this connection. There are more, okay? Um, taking that leap of faith is going to put them in their power, okay? They're going to have to be in a powerful stance. Feminines, you have to be in your powerful stance. Um, deciding, I ain't going to be the side chick, you know. Um, and do that. Do that for your own self-respect, for your own self-worth. The abundant universe will provide more opportunities, whether within this connection or without. I feel like it's within this connection. There will be more windows opening up. This window is going to close. And it's fine. All right. Um, there'll be more opportunities. All right. All right. Um, Romance Angels, we're going out. <laughs> I know that's right. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. Both parties are like, I cannot let this go. 
I'm not gonna let this go. All right. Um, the masculine definitely is like, yo, I I am on that ass energetically. If I can't be on that ass physically, I am on it energetically like I'm up. Okay. <laughs> but both parties feel this way. Both parties are like fiending over the connection. All right. So. All right. Well, that's that. Let me know what you think, Aries. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. I'm your IG, that's Tyron Hill, if you want a personal reading. Check out the info box below if you want to be a Patreon. Patron. Check out the Patreon link below to be an angel donor and get 20% off of your readings, all right? Thank you so much, and until we meet again, peace.